So with all the games I've been playing recently and the different categories on Steam, it's kind of hit me that there is just no way that I will ever, ever, ever be able to functionally make a video on every single topic on Steam. There is just absolutely an absurd amount of these. There's just way too many, and it, it just it just can't happen. Steam has so many games. They have a category just for capitalism and a category just for horses. Like, I, I, I just, I don't understand. Secret of the Magic Crystals looks like the best game ever made, dude. We got the nice graphics. We got, we, you can, you can do some manual labor. I don't know about you guys, but that's what I call some quality content. So guys, in this video, I'm gonna pick five topics that are weirdly specific, find a game to play in each one of them, and let you know what I think about it. Wait, stop everything, stop everything. I just wanted to, I just wanted to put some attention on this seamless transition into the sponsored bit. Oh boy, that was a seamless transition, boy. Eloot pays all my bills. Let's not talk about it. With eloot.gg, you can earn free money for literally doing nothing. You're stupid if you don't try it. Click the link in the description. All you gotta do is sign in with Google. Then you're set up. You click the different genres of ads that you wanna watch. Stuff that really, really interests you. Cause you're absolutely, totally gonna sit here and watch all of the ads, right? You let me have your Dragon Ball and I'll let you have a little peak. What do I care about seeing your dirty old fanny? Every three ads that you watch awards you with some gems. And I do have to say from my personal experience, don't expect to become a millionaire off this site, but if you really grind and you really work hard and you just mute the ad, you take it and you just chuck it somewhere else. It's as simple as that. If you wake up extra early and you work extra hard, you can make like 10 to $20 a day just by having ads open on your computer. And you don't even have to watch them. You sit back, you relax, you open up a Bang Bros video and you're making money in the background. It's beautiful. The link is in the description. Check it out, please, for me. They pay my bills, please, just check it out. Click the link. Quick and painless, boys. Seamless transition back. So the first topic that I found that I kind of want to check out is education because there's a lot of educational games on Steam, apparently. 447 of them because who doesn't like to learn things right so obviously we're gonna get the least educational game in this list it's gonna be universe sandbox 2 and we're just gonna buy it and we're gonna play it this just this looks like a great time oh boy i love games that don't start full screen all right so i completely ignored the tutorial it looks like i just have this one galaxy at my disposal here so so this is earth this is the planet we live on right now i'm currently standing in north america right about here you don't really understand the scope of this game until you kind of scroll out and you see how small Earth has to get before you can see any of the other planets in the solar system. The universe. Space. The unfathomably big cosmos. So vast. So infinite. I'm gonna blow it up. Grab the radius of the sun. Grab that. Let's open up this right here. It's uh, Google, Google math counter digital tool. Let's multiply this number by two, then by two again, then by two again, then by two again, then one more two, then one more two, and then let's make the sun that big. All right, that's what I'm talking about. So the sun has expanded. Uh, Earth is definitely not a livable planet. I would say, if anything, this is just a seizure ball, and uh, it looks like it's actually on a crash course with the sun at a pretty soon frequent future date. If I just add a couple zeros to the Earth's mass, oh, there it is. I am a god. I choose who lives. I choose who die. That was a terrible fucking sentence. All right, so let's add Pluto, right? And then around Pluto, we can have an orbiting Pluto. And then around that orbiting Pluto, we can have an an orbiting Pluto. All right, so we're <laughs> I'm gonna build a planet. Let's uh, we'll put a bowling ball in space, and we'll have it orbited by a 20-sided die and uh, a, a, a big, really big jack-o'-lantern. Orbiting around the bowling ball, uh, we'll have a couple marbles. So with this perfect orbital rotation, we'll put in our Tesla Roadster and we'll let that rotate around, as well as the Great Pyramid of Giza. Now it looks like I've actually pulled the Tesla Roadster into the Great Pyramid of Giza's orbital directional pulsating gravitational field, and uh, Elon Musk would be proud. Remember earlier how I mentioned oddly specific specific topics? Well, music-based procedural generation is one of those oddly specific topics. Now, I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not a rhythm game person, okay? I'm not at all. I need something colorful, I need something fast-paced, but I need something that doesn't require any skill to keep my interest. So naturally, we're gonna be downloading this game, Piano Cat. It's a cheap game, it doesn't look like it requires a lot, and uh, it's about a cat. It's about a cat playing the piano. Like, well, you, you can't not buy this game. All right, so the game is open, and it looks like we have one of three worlds to choose from. I gotta say, this 
is kind of feeling like it's like a cut the rope kind of game, like something that could be on mobile but isn't on mobile for no reason. I'm just not really sure what to expect here. I, I guess there's like random places where you have to hit keys. I'm hoping that this is like the tutorial and this isn't actually the full game because if it is, this is literally like a fucking typing game I would play in fourth grade middle school, dude. Oh wow, look at that. I got a really gay propeller hat. That's fantastic. I literally feel like I'm learning to type. Like if you put letters in place of these, I would be a master typist in like an hour. Like this cannot actually be a real game that people play through to progress. I need something harder than that, bro. Let's go to world three. This is actually all that this game has to offer. Are you, are you serious? Is this real? The only conceivable thoughts that I can give to this game, right? The only like rational thing I can say about it. I thought it would get harder, but it didn't. 10 out of 10. Can we just take a second to appreciate the fact that in the bowling category, there's only six bowling games on Steam and Grand Theft Auto 4 is one of those six games on Steam. If you let my daughter go now, that'll be the end of it. Of you. But if you don't, I will look for you. I will find you. And I will kill you. Nico, it's Roman. Let's go bowling. So, on the opposite end of oddly specific, this looks like it's just oddly vague. Experience. What, what does that mean? We're gonna play Grip Tape Backbone. I'm really into the Vaporwave shit, and this looks like it's gonna be an absolutely wild experience. They've even got the paperclip guy, man. They got the, they, they got the paperclip. There's only one graphics quality to this game, and it's, it's aesthetic with spaces between everything, because it's aesthetically pleasing, and this game is gonna be the best thing ever made, and it's free to play. You may want to put on headphones for this experience, because it's gonna change your life. <laughs> I hope you honestly paused the video and put headphones on because I ear raped you right after I said that and that would have spooked you. <laughs> All right, all jokes aside though, I am genuinely not sure what I'm gonna get from this game. This this actually seems like it might be a pretty solid and well put together game, but like it could I could be totally wrong. Like I actually don't know. Yeah, no, this is pretty much exactly how I thought it would be. Uh, and this is the best game ever made. The physics in this game really don't make a lot of sense, but this is actually like a trip, dude. Oh my god, Mac Mac Plus just came on. Mac fucking Plus just came on, boys. It's a it's a vibe. It, <laughs> what is going on? My thoughts on this game? It truly stole my heart. You get it? It's a heart. A, it's a it's a good joke. It's a quality. Quality joke. It's a heart. It's got valves. See what I did? Valve, the game's from Steam, Valve. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna stop. All right, let's go up this giant glowing thing right now. I don't even need to put background music in because we've already got this beautiful, beautiful vaporwave accent. This is a song I've personally used as background music before, and I find it really funny that it's in this game. That just makes me feel kind of retarded, honestly. Oh my God, it's a sad face in a computer monitor. Holy shit. I don't know how to come down, but that's, that's kind of dope. Guys, I've achieved orbit. I've literally achieved orbit. I am just circling around this pole, dude. I'm the best at everything. Looks like I'm gonna hit that pole but I ain't gonna hit that pole. I'm orbiting, bitch. All right, that's enough of this game. I'm losing brain cells. All right, guys, this is gonna be the last game that I played today. I know I said five, but five means four because less is more, and I want the quality to be really top-notch in this video. The point is, we found the best game ever made. We got Bike Rush. Now, I didn't read anything about this or look into it whatsoever, but what I see just from clicking through this little video is a guy with a VR handgun on a motorcycle, and that interests me, so we're gonna play it. Boys, I am confused right now, okay? 1.7 gigabytes slash 1.7 gigabytes, right? It's, it's fully downloaded, 1.7 out of 1.7. Is this thing downloading a virus? Like, why is this taking, t what, what, what? I wanna know what this game is actually downloading because 1.7 gigabytes is is done. It's, it's 1.7 out of 1.7, but this is just going up. It's at six hours seven hours guys it is gonna take a full two days to play this game right now oh my god this game was produced by epic games bro they make fortnite i'm about to play some motorcycle fortnite 
This game is literally installing like Pentagon level security measures so I can't cheat, dude. Like just fucking play, please. Are you kid? Is this real life? I just launched this and it crashed instantly. You've got to be kidding me. All right, this game's got a weird aspect ratio too. I love it. Can I like take this? Can I have that? I want that gun. Is that a fidget spinner? Take down the cops and reach the finish in less time. Let's do it. Oh my god. The controls are so sloppy and it's so loud. But if you hit escape, there's no menu. It just says bike rush. Jesus Christ! What? I really don't know what's going on. What? What is this? This is like a fucking Michael Bay movie. Oh, there's a helicopter! Jesus Christ! I paid five dollars for this game. I can put down ramps, B! Hell yeah! Oh, okay. I don't understand! I'm not even gonna review this. Don't buy this fucking game. This game is whack. Guys, that is gonna do it for this video. I do hope that you enjoyed thoroughly. If you did, that's great. If you didn't, then, you know, go watch fucking Leafy is here. Anyways, boys, I will be a lot more consistent with uploading once ESL Cologne is over, but I am actually going, and then I'm going to Amsterdam with a few YouTubers. So you guys kind of expect some footage coming back from that, but I probably won't upload more than once or twice while I'm there, just because I won't have my normal computer set up with me and it's a lot harder to make videos. But if you guys are going to ESL Cologne, but definitely hit me up. I will be there and I'd love to meet all you guys. It'd be really really great with that said guys subscribe for more mediocre content and i will see you in the next video have a great day peace out